Hello! Thank you for coming to this video today, guys. This is a really important video. It's going to be how to delegate your ADA with mobile, uh, whether you're on iOS or Android. Uh, but let's jump into it. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is download the Uroi app. Um, you can get this from the iOS app store or the Android app store, uh, Google Play. I'm actually on Google Play right now. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and install that. Um, after you're done with that, you're going to want to go ahead and open up the app. Okay, so now we are on the app. Um, it's asking me to log in. For you guys, since this is your first time using the app, it's going to ask you to select a language, so then select your language, and then agree to the terms of service. Okay, so now we're into the first step. It says your wallets. So we have two options down here. We had Ad Wallet Byron Era and Ad Wallet Shelly Era. So just for a second, I'm going to go ahead and explain what these means, uh, what these both mean, so you guys can understand the difference in them. Uh, I do think it's really important. So the Byron Era wallet is the federated wallets. This is before Cardano became decentralized. Um, IOHK used to run all the servers, complete all the transactions, and that was the federated model of Cardano. So these Byron wallets are going to be all of your Roy and Daedalus wallets that you had prior to August. Um, it, and then the Shelly era are going to be all the wallets that you had afterwards, right? So if this is your first time ever having ADA or ever delegating ADA, uh, you just bought some on an exchange and you want to move some from an exchange to this wallet to stake your ADA for the first time, you're going to be selecting this add wallet Shelly era option, right? Um, the same with if you want to restore your wallet from Daedalus or your Roy, um, you're going to be clicking that same Shelly wallet option and clicking restore wallet. Um, if you're not, you're going to be creating a new wallet. Um, if you're actually coming from the Byron era, if you had a wallet before then, you're going to want to head and go and add a Byron era wallet and then click restore wallet and type in that recovery phrase. Um, and it's the same thing over here. So if you are restoring a wallet, you're going to type in that recovery phrase. Um, if not, you're going to want to, so like I said, if you're new to this, you're going to want to create a new wallet and write down this recovery phrase. Um, so you're going to want to put a wallet name in, a spending password. Um, after you do that, it's going to actually ask you to write down your recovery phrase. That recovery phrase is the most important thing, even more important than your spending password. If you don't write that down, you're not going to be able to recover your ADA. That is That key is the access to all of your funds. So you want to make sure no one's watching you type that in. Um, and we're going to go ahead and actually recover a Byron Arrow wallet and switch it over to a Shelly wallet. Okay, so now that you're at this point in the video, uh, you should have either recovered your Shelly wallet uh, or created a new Shelly wallet um, and also recovered your Byron wallet if you need to do that. Um, so either way, you do need to actually click add wallet and create a Shelly wallet. Um, and the reason for this is this is actually the wallet that you're going to be delegating. So I want to give you guys some knowledge here to tell you guys the difference between the Byron Air and the Shelly. <coughs> so I mentioned it a little bit earlier. Um, so the, for the Byron era, the federated model, there's two types of keys. There's a payment key and it's a public key and a secret key. And for Shelly era, you have the payment public key, secret key, but there's also a staking public key and staking secret key, right? So I went ahead and actually made a staking wallet right here. I called it Padre staking wallet. Um, so what you're going to do if you did recover your Byron wallet is you're going to want to go into that Byron wallet. I can't actually do that because I don't have a Byron wallet to use. But you go into that Byron wallet and you're going to have to actually take the ADA in there and send it to the Shelly wallet that you made, right? There might be a little quick UI to allow you to do that, uh, but currently there is no, no way for me to do that. So all you have to do is actually send that from the Byron wallet to the new Shelly wallet. And then once you're here, you can see the options you have. You know, you have send, receive dashboard um, and then this is kind of the staking center this is where you're going to see your total rewards total delegated um, so what we're actually going to be doing is delegating to bloom uh, what is bloom bloom is my stake pool um, so what you're actually going to have to do is since there's no way to delegate other than by stake pool id you're going to have to come to adapools.org and select your own pool uh, what I'm recommending for you today is to actually choose Bloom. Uh, why? We're actually trusted by over 2,000 different delegates in the Cardano ecosystem. Uh, we actually have the most delegates total uh, compared to everyone else. 
Um, we have 32 blocks this epoch. We charge a 5% fee. The minimum cost per epoch to make sure that they don't charge you anything uh, extra. Um, and then we also have a 2.5 million ADA pledge. Um, that ensures you get more rewards and it also secures the network from Sybil attacks. You want to support an operator that has skin in the game. Uh, we have two pools. We have Bloom and Bloom 2. We're actually going to be delegating to Bloom 2 in this epoch. So all you have to do is click this little copy button right here on Ada Pools. Once that's copied, you can actually go back over. Um, it's going to make me re-log in with my fingerprint. Watch, it's not going to work for me. Cool. So now we go back to Padre right here. We click Stake Pool ID. We can paste that in. Continue. They will charge you a 0.17 fee. Uh, that 2 ADA right there that you see it says plus 2.17. The 2 ADA you're actually going to get back when you undelegate somewhere. Um, yep, so the amount's already selected for us. So then we have to actually go ahead and type in that spending password. Um, but I'm actually going to cut the video so I can type that in real quick to delegate. Cool. You have now delegated to Bloom. Uh, first off, I want to say appreciate your support. Even if you uh, just watched this video, I would really appreciate it if you left a like and turned notifications on on this channel. Um, it would mean the world to me. Um, but now you can actually see this fee went through. You can see the um, the delegation went through, I mean, and then it says it was intra-wallet. Um, the fee was the minus 2.17. You will get that 2 ADA back if you choose to undelegate. Um, Go ahead and click on it and check it out. So we got two confirmations. That's looking good. We can go to the dashboard now to see. Yep. So cool. Now that you're in the dashboard, just to verify, you can actually see right here that you're delegated to Bloom 2 or Bloom or any other pool. Um, and yeah, uh, <clears throat> so the way the rewards actually work, um, they're about 15 days out from when you delegate, uh, and that's depending on the, the start of the epoch. So you will have to wait a, a while for rewards. Um, but once you start receiving those rewards, you will earn them every five days, which is pretty cool. Um, you can also go to the website right here, which is pretty cool. Let's go to the staking center. Oh, okay, that's just the stake pool ID. Um, go to website, and then it'll take you to Bloom's website, which is awesome. But all right, that is it. Uh, make sure if you guys make sure if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, uh, comment down below. I really would appreciate it. Um, if you guys have questions about anything Cardano, um, anything your Roy. Uh, or anything bloom uh, anything um, just feel free to comment down below and i will get back with you um, if you enjoyed this i also have a discord server down below uh, where i answer questions one-on-one -on -one. Um, but yeah that's it i hope you guys all have a wonderful day i really appreciate all the support and goodbye